Security was unusually heavy outside the Invercargill District Court with a conspicuous police presence and people being searched as they entered, plus all comers being filmed. Inside the court, the three accused entered no plea and stood one by one, testimony to a gang warfare they may be less comfortable with than their demeanour appears to suggest. Warfare is a very uncomfortable position for anybody to be in, and there'll be a lot of um, chest beating about, you know, well, we, we can take it, you know, from the gangs. However, if they're honest, everybody will say that war is a very uncomfortable position to be in. Not only are you being saturated by the police, which um, cramps your style and your activities, you can't go anywhere without being, you know, the police being on you. Um, and moreover, you've got to always look over your shoulder because you don't know when someone's going to have a pop at you. It's a very uncomfortable position to be in. Jared Gilbert from the University of Canterbury has been studying men like these and gang culture for six years as part of his PhD. Yes, men who have their gang patches tattooed on their faces. The mongrel mob road night square off in Invercargill, he says attack retaliation, attack retaliation, is a classic gang cycle. If something happens to you or I, then we will usually go to the police and get you know, a retribution like that, try to get it solved that way. Well, the gangs don't do that, so they have to solve it themselves, so hence violence is often an outcome of that. What will pacify these men? Probably not the law, for whom they seem to have little time, but a truce negotiated by someone both gangs respect.